Hey YouTube, this is Drew and I'm back again to show you what's in my fire kit this week. So stick around and let's look inside this thing. All right, so if you watched my previous video last week, I posted about this fire kit, how I would eventually go over it. Well, today is that day. So let's look at what's inside. We'll start with the front pockets. So, in here I have a titanium spork by Boundless Voyage. Again, you're gonna be surprised how much gear lives in this one piece of kit. Next, here on the outside, I have my smaller fire steel attached through this loop here. Oh, we're not done. Next, in the Salatoids case, I have waterproof matches and a small pocket Swiss Army knife. It's got like four or five functions. I think, no, six. And I keep that in this Altoids tin where I can also pop a hole in here and make some char cloth. So that's my char cloth kit. And believe it or not, that's it for that one pocket. This pocket, this was a Christmas present from the wifey. Got my multi-tool and a Bic. You're gonna see a lot of redundancies because like I said, this is my fire kit, but I do keep a lot of gear in this thing, whatever I can fit in there. So this was a gift from the wifey. I actually like this thing. I sharpened up the cutters and it's got spring action, so I can use it one-handed. Pretty cool. That's it for that pocket. Let's go ahead and dive into here. I got my Victoria Knox Hunter, another big Swiss Army knife, whole bunch of functions. I'll probably do a video on this another day. I really love this thing. I never leave home without this. And this is truly part of my EDC. I always have my bag with me and this is always in my bag. So this is all gear I always have with me at all times. Here's a larger diameter furrow rod I spoke about last week. It's a Bayite. Uh, I believe it's a half inch diameter by, I think five inches. And you can see I've used it quite a bit, a fair, good fair amount, wrapped it in paracord, does the job. Cotton bandana. I don't think I have anything else stuffed in there. No. Okay. Next, in the main pocket, I have another Bic. I told you I have a lot of redundancies. 50 feet of reflective orange paracord. Dryer lint with some fat wood shavings. And I updated my tinder box. Because I can actually, again, pop a hole in here, make char, make char cloth, but I have extra fat wood, some shavings, some spruce bar, um, birch bark, some sticks, and some of this um, fire start material here. Yeah, I need that. Let's see all that. We're not done. Let me see. 
Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys paid attention, but I think I did mention in my video last week that I also had a wood-burning stove in this little monster. So let's go ahead and put that right here. Oh yeah. And if you haven't, go ahead and watched my video last week. I was talking just, I was just talking about this stove right here. And this is the small version that you can see has had plenty of love. This is the smaller version of that stove. The one I got last week. This one's actually much more stable than that version. It's not too hard to put together, to be honest with you. It looks it looks like it could be a bit complicated, but it's really not. It's got to follow the ends here. Let's wait until you get the third one on. There we go. Then go ahead and slide that in there. Slide that. Yeah, this is where it gets a little tricky. I always do the underside up. I don't know why, I think it's just personal preference. Yeah, it's this side. Oops. All right, so yeah, put in the four. Put in the four. Not just three. Yeah, excuse me, it has been a bit since I put this thing together. This is where it gets a tad bit tricky. You need to be a little careful how you do this because you could cut yourself. This is thin steel. There you go. As you can see, it's put together. You can put your trangia in here. I've burned a lot of wood in here and used it for my trangia. And one of the cool things is it comes with this crossbar that fits into that bag as well. Go ahead and just slide that in there. And then you can place your pot or your coffee mug right on top. So that is basically everything that was in this bag here. Whether you can believe that or not. This little EDC kit is one of the greatest gifts I ever received. I will ask my wife where she got it. I believe she said possibly walmart.com. I don't know if I had this on my list or not. I don't think I did. I think she just saw it and got it. I've looked for it. I can't find it, but I do want to get another one. So if any of you are watching and know where I can get another one of these, please post a link in the comments or just let me know. You can shoot me an email. My contact info will be in the show notes below. I really would like to get another one and I've been looking and I've been unable to locate one. This thing is ultra awesome. Don't have no back straps or nothing on it. I mean, it's really just an uh, olive drab little bag here with lots of pockets. I love these little clips here. Good space here for fitting tools. Zipper pouch, got a lot of room in here. And it's lined with nylon. And then it's got like a waxed canvas in here. So this is actually not a bad quality bag. This is where I actually keep the stove. And you can see the nylon. And I don't know if you can see the difference between the nylon here and like this waxed canvas. This thing is awesome. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you like to get one of these? Would you think you'd be able to use one? Would you want to add one to your bag? Let me know. Let's talk about this. I think this thing is awesome, especially for the amount of gear. Look at all this. Look at everything I've had stored in this one bag. And that saves space and organizes everything in the one little field file on cabinet, basically. If I need a piece of gear, I know where it's at. More than, more than not, it's probably sitting in my fire kit 
So thanks for watching, guys. You take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.